welcome back. No running again today as last week I injured my other calf. So today I thought we'd focus more on uh, a talking video where I talk about the reasons why I actually got into running in the first place. So before we talk about it, write down in the comments below what you think my original reason for starting to run was. And while you're down there, put in what your reason for running is. What's your motivation? What keeps you running uh, towards your goals? So I've been running consistently now for four months and it is it has been the most consistent I've been with my running I have run before but I run for a sole purpose of reaching a goal uh, and when that goal didn't come to fruition I stopped knocked it on the head beat myself up and then just just left it at that this time I've realised that it's not just about the running or the fitness. I mean, the fitness isn't really the hard part. Uh, what tends to happen is this goal pops up from time to time and I'm like, right, I need to get fit. I need to get sorted for this. I need to get sorted for that. But I need to be fit all the time anyway. If I just carry on doing the fitness, then the fitness isn't an issue. I then can concentrate on the tasks that are more hard for me to gain control over. So I can hear you all sitting there going, just tell us what it is. Okay, so my reason for starting to run initially was for a job role. And that job role was the fire service. I've wanted to, I've been trying to get into a full-time firefighting position for over 10 years now. It's quite competitive. Um, so for... I don't know, let's say every 10 to 20 jobs, you probably get around between 500 and 2,000 people apply, depending on the area and how popular the job is at the time, I don't know. So there's quite a lot of competition, and I always put pressure on myself by not doing the training until I kind of get to the point where the job pops up. The whole reason for me running originally was to get fit for this job job opening. Uh, I mean I've done it before, I was a retained firefighter uh, in my local town and I kept up my fitness throughout so it's not like I was just doing it to to pass the test but once I got to the stage I get to every time which is the interviews, it didn't come to fruition, I didn't, it didn't get through because there's such high competition for it, I just, right, well, I'll sod it, I won't won't bother running anymore it's like what's the point but continuing to run and keeping my fitness at the level that it should be for that job role and anyway just takes a layer of stress off when it comes to that job opening opening up like now there's two services that are opened up that i'm going through processes for just the beginning it's just the start of the processes but i know my fitness is in at a good level so when the fitness test comes around i don't even have to stress that that I'm, am I going to pass? You have to do a bleep test to level 8.6, which has actually dropped. It used to be 8.8, .8. but I know I can comfortably do that. I've been running for four months. My fitness level is like I, I should be able to do that easily. Um, I just need to look after these legs. <laughs> Stop getting injuries. But yeah, it's the it's it's the interview parts that that keep getting me and. I mean, I don't know if it's that I'm not giving the right answers or whether it's just my confidence in making myself look good as such over however many other applicants there are. So, as I say, when there's that much competition and I'm not as confident as somebody else, then obviously they're going to choose the one that's beaming confidence all over. So, yeah, I mean, that is my original reason for starting to run. If you got it right, hit that subscribe button. If you got it wrong, hit the like button. So, yeah, that was my main reason for, for starting to run, was for a job role. But now I've done it with the mindset that I'm going to continue to do it. I'm actually really enjoying it. And the fact that I've started slowing down with the running as well. Instead of... Uh, I was listening to a podcast with Gary House the other day. And he was... I can't remember who it was he was talking to. The guy was saying that 
he used to hate running because running was always seen as a punishment. Like I used to play football when I was younger and I don't know, say you were doing some drills, you missed a pass, you'd have to run laps or something like that. Running always seemed like punishment of some sort, even in PE. And it would always be that you run as fast as you can doing whatever it was. And it kind of resonated with me. I was like, yeah, that actually kind of, that's why I've hated running all this time. But now I've actually slowed down. I'm enjoying it a lot more. And like, well, I'm being more consistent with it. I mean, I've run solidly three times a week for, for four months now. So, and I'm really enjoying it. What I need to really start doing is looking at booking some races. That's something I really want to do, but I don't know what to book. I've done one park run, I need to be doing that a little bit more often as well, but sometimes it just, going every week just takes up a bit more time, like I've got kids, like there's family, the kids don't want to run, I've already asked them, like, otherwise I'll be taking them down with me, um, yeah, so marathon is the main goal, but I know I'm not ready for that yet, I run, what, well, I, I run a half marathon distance and my feet were hurting, so there's a lot more training to do before I'm ready for that and I know people say oh you can book it and then 16 weeks or whatever it is you can you can train for it in that amount of time yeah but I just don't want to book it and then not be ready so if I can get myself ready for next year for a marathon then yeah I think that's a good good goal to set not unreachable and maybe book myself some 5k's and 10k's maybe even a half marathon later on in the year um, I need to get on some websites and start looking at them there's so many different websites for races let me know some good ones down below in the comments um, and yeah hopefully I'll be back to running next week my calf is feeling a lot better one other thing I need to do is to speak to my local running club and I said I was going to do that the other month and just completely got away from me haven't spoke to them so speak to them see if we can join up with them yep there are some plans going ahead for the future just need to look after my legs make sure they're right and not go too hard I'm going to go for a few runs next week and I'm going to take it easy I'm not going to go hard at all build it back up slowly I've been doing strength work I've been doing some yoga just hope it all pulls it together right I shall see you again on the next one.